Hello everyone, welcome to quantifiers. Uh, so students, today I have taken a very important question of geometry. Mind you, geometry is one of the most important topics. There will be at least 20 to 25% questions related to geometry. So let's say if there are 22 questions in quant section, you will find four to five questions for sure. Uh, now, before we discuss this question, uh, let me tell you that if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges or different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other than the students, we also have a Facebook group and Telegram group uh, for your doubt solving. Uh, you can join those groups. A link for that is also given in the description. Okay, now I would request everyone to please pause the video and give this question a try. Okay, students, so I hope all of you have tried it. Now, let me quickly tell you a couple of properties which we are going to use in this question. So, let's say if I take a triangle ABC and there is a point O, there is a point O inside the triangle and this point O, it is equidistant from all the vertices. That means OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. So, students, now I know that because OA is equal to OB is equal to OC, this particular point O, this is known as circumcenter. Okay, this is known as circumcenter. All of, all of you should be aware of this. Abhi circumcenter ka matlab kya hai? Ki if I take O as the center and taking OA, OB and OC as the radius, because all of them are equal to each other. Now, if I draw a circle, So students, this circle is known as circumcircle. Very, very important. The circle is known as circumcircle. And radius, which we are denoting by capital R, that capital R is known as circumradius. Students, uh, you should be aware of all these things to solve this particular question. Okay. Another property I would like to tell you here is that if we take any isosceles triangle, right? In an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. So students to the third side, okay? To the third side, that means to the unequal side. This is the unequal side. To the unequal side, if you draw a median or altitude or angle bisector or perpendicular bisector, students, all of them are represented by the same line. Basically, if we have a median, hai, राइट अगर कोई हमारा मीडियन है तो वो हमारा एल्टीट्यूड भी होगा वो हमारा एंगल बाइसेक्टर भी होगा एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल बिकम परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर एज वेल बट दिस हैपेंस इन केस ऑफ आइसोसेलिस ट्रायंगल ओनली इफ देयर इज अ मीडियन एल्टीट्यूड एंगल बाइसेक्टर टू द अनइक्वल साइड ओके अनइक्वल साइड पे एक ही लाइन सब चीजों को रिप्रेजेंट करेगी मीडियन को भी एंगल बाइसेक्टर को भी Altitude ko bhi, perpendicular bisector ko bhi. Very, very, very important. Okay, now students, let us come to the question. So PQR is a triangle. It is given that PQ is 13. QR is 14. And PR is 15. It is given that I is a point which is equidistant from all the vertices. So I hope all of you know that this I is basically now circumcenter. And now students, uh, we have to find area of the triangle QIR. So can I say students, if you look at the triangle QIR, we know one of the sides which is, as, which is given to us as 14. If I can find the height for this triangle, I'll get the answer, right? If I can find the height, I'll get the answer. Now, students, moreover, I know that IQ is equal to IR and obviously which is known as circumradius, right? So, ye cheez aur ye cheez barabar hai. so can I say this is an isosceles triangle now, right? Because IQ, IR will be equal to each other. So, this becomes an isosceles triangle, QIR. This length is equal to this length. And just now we discussed to the unequal side. Altitude, median, angle bisector, perpendicular bisector will be represented by the same line because I have dropped a perpendicular. This will also be the median now. And now because it is median, so I can say that 
if this is seven, this will also be seven. Now, students, how do we find area of triangle QIR? Area of triangle QIR would be half into base into height. Base we know is 14. I just need to find the height. So if I can find the value of X, I'll get the answer. Now, students, to find the value of X, let us first try to figure out what will be the value of circum radius. Capital R ki value hum kaise nikalenge. So I hope aap sabko formula pata hai related to circum radius. That area of triangle is equal to product of sides divided by four times capital R. Now students to find the area of triangle, we, we know the sides are 13, 14, 15. Now one way of doing it is you can apply Heron's formula and you can calculate its area. But I have always told that this uh, triangle is very, very important, right? Scaling triangle having sides 13, 14 and 15. Everybody should remember that area of this particular triangle is 84. If you remember, you can save your time else. Uh, you can apply Heron's formula and you can calculate the area, right? Students. So area is 84. So let us put area is 84 product of sides 13, 14, 15 divided by four times capital R. So yeah, so capital R ki value nikaal lete hum. 14 into six is 84, uh, three into two, three into five. So you can see capital R comes out to be 13 into five. That is 65 divided by four into two. That is eight. Now, because I know the value of capital R, now I can find the value of X applying Pythagoras theorem. We can say that X square will be equal to R ka square. R ka square means 65 by eight ka square minus seven ka square. Now students, uh, the calculation looks very tough, but I would suggest you to apply a square minus B square formula, right? A square minus B square means a plus B into a minus B. So 65 by eight, 65 by eight plus seven, 65 by eight plus seven, right? A plus B. So that would be 65 plus 56, 121 by eight. So this is a plus B into a minus B. 65 by 8 minus 7. So that would be 65 minus 56, 9 by 8. So students from here, you can see that the value of X comes out to be now 121 is square of 11. So we'll get 11 and 9 is square of 3. And we have 8 square in the denominator. So we'll get 8. So X key value has a X key value agi 33 by 8. So students, now we can calculate the area. So area was half into 14 into height. Height we have calculated that is half into 14 into 33 by 8. So students from here, we get 2 into 7 as 14. So answer comes out to be 210 plus 21, 231 by 8. Right students? So which is, if you see, which is very, very, very close to uh, had it been 232, we would have got 29. So you can say approximately 29. So very important question, students. Uh, you can see we have uh, used so many properties here. So as I've told you, please remember all the properties to solve questions of geometry. Then you'll find geometry very easy. Thank you, everyone.